Hey all of you, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we go to break down that what exactly you have to learn in blockchain development. I'm going to highlight the most important topic which you have to consider if you are starting up right now in 2024. So these are the most important topic which you have to master. And then we go to build our foundation on top of that. So it's going to be absolutely beginner. But if you are intermediate or advanced, you have to clear and have a strong fundamental in your pace. Okay, so here I have made this PPT again. I'm going to provide you this entire slide so you can simply go through that. But let me explain that what exactly you have to master. So how to learn and what to learn. This is very important things which you have to ask yourself. No matter what you are trying to learn, what you try to master, you have to know that what is the outcome you want to achieve from that particular learning. So this is what we have. So there is no doubt. Again, I'm, I highlighted almost every single time in all the project we have built on our channel. So I hope you guys have watched those projects. You have guys have built those projects. In that, I have extensively focused on JavaScript. Because whatever project I have built on the channel, that's extensively focused on the JavaScript programming language and all the other framework which are built on JavaScript. So first thing you have to know is JavaScript. This programming language is absolutely must. And it has a lot of benefit when you start working as a blockchain developer or a web developer. You're going to use this JavaScript frameworks, which we have React, Next.js, Vue. All of these frameworks are built on top of JavaScript. And when you're going to build any type of Web3 application, where you're going to find the libraries which are built using this particular programming language. Like if you talk about third web, if we talk about the all the component modules which you're going to use, if you talk about Ether.js, Web3.js, that's all built in JavaScript. So it would be very easy for you to communicate with the blockchain and get the data. So JavaScript is absolutely embossed. Then comes the HTML CSS. It's again, I'm not telling you to be master in that. You have to have a little bit of understanding because when you're going to work as a blockchain developer and you will have a higher demand if you provide end to end product, because when you will start working as a DAP developer or a full stack blockchain developer, in that way, you will be always in the highest chance of getting job and internship in the industry. Because when someone is going to hire you in their work, in their project, they want someone who can build end to end product. So in that way, JavaScript is absolutely must. And then you have to know about HTML, CSS, basic front end where the user can interact with your smart contract. Build your small project where you can test your JavaScript skills and HTML, CSS. Build a simple web application. After that, you have to have a little bit of understanding about Remix ID because recently Remix ID added a lot of tools and plugins which you can use for writing the smart contract. So it's going to be a very important tools if you work on the smart contract and protocol designing, where you're going to test the contract and build the DeFi application. Then it's going to be a very important tool for you, which you can simply use it for testing your contract. Once you're done with that, I would suggest you then you have to move to Solidity. And if you really want to build smart contract, which can be executed on Ethereum blockchain or any EVM compatible, you have to know how to write a smart contract. And Solidity is the most demandable programming language right now. And all the contract which you will find, whether you talk about Polygon, Ethereum, Avalanche, Binance, all of the contracts which are deployed, all, all these networks, popular networks are written in Solidity. So if you good in Solidity, it would be very good for you to get into the industry, to get into the job, because it's already used for last couple of years and it's still in high end demand. So you will be in a higher position for getting job as compared to other developer who know other programming language in which they can write the contract. So solidity is must. And that's why I told you that you have to master JavaScript first, because once you complete JavaScript, then this particular thing is going to be a piece of cake for you because you will find the class constructor, which you're going to learn in JavaScript it has a similar structure here in Solidity. All you have to know is to know about the variables that how you can declare a variable, how you can declare a function, how you can write a contract. So these are the basic things you have to know. Your 80% work is done in Solidity. Once you're done with that, you have to build contract. You have to build contract. The more contract you will build, it will help you to increase your understanding that how exactly contract work on the blockchain. You have to test those contract. After that, you have to understand about the wallet and MetaMask because you have to connect the application with the wallet and there you're going to perform the transaction. So this is the steps which you have to learn. This one is very important and very basic. If you focus thoroughly for two months to three months to focus on JavaScript only, it would be very easy for you to master all of this technology. So this is very important. So this is the first set of things you have to master. After that come the next set of things. So this is a little bit advanced. 
if you are absolute beginner then you can simply work on this and you can start applying for the internship and job but if you want to scale it up to the intermediate and beginner then you have to come here and focus on this you have to know about hard hat and truffle these are the powerful library which you will use when you write the smart contract test in your local environment or when you're going to fork the network for testing your contract before you actually deploy to the test network so you have to know about it then you have to know about the mocha and chai library these are the two powerful library which you will use when you will write the contract and you're going to test so these two libraries is very powerful after that comes the javascript framework as i told you that right now all the framework which you will find for building your application building your app it's revolve around javascript so if javascript is absolutely must and you have to master the framework like open zip lane we have tons of framework then we have the front end tools definitely you can use react next js typescript or normal html css but these technologies are very high in demand recently react js got updated to 90 version we have the latest next js and typescript is also very popular after that you have to understand about the nfts and how exactly it's work you have to build at least one or two projects around an NFT, which you can check. We have tons of projects on our channel. After that, you have to understand about the DeFi because DeFi is comes under the advanced section. If you are an absolute beginner, I would never encourage you to focus on DeFi because so it's an advanced topic. And most of the beginner who will apply for this particular job roles in the industry, they will not get it because generally the company look for an advanced developer where it's going to manage a lot of fun. So it's a decentralized exchange and DeFi protocol. So you have to understand that. After that, you have to build project. You have to build project because no matter how much technology you learn, how much skills you have, it's ultimately the project. You don't need to build any project just like that. You have to build some meaningful project which can be utilized in the industry. So if I take you back here in the blockchain coder, or you can simply go back to the YouTube channel where you will find all the project we have on our channel. So you can simply come back here and you can check all the project. We have more than 30 projects we have built on the channel. And it has a different models, different business model. So if you want to build project related to the NFT, check this one. Cloud funding, check this one. Supply chain, check this one. We have the chat application, voting tab. We have the use of clones. We have the some like JavaScript, HTML, CSS practice program. Here we have the next years. You can check the real estate, API development. We have tons of projects. If you want to build your own MetaMask clone, this is the project we have on the channel. You can build a Web3 chat application which can work on uh decentralized business model so you can check this chat gtp web 3.0 you can check this particular tool in which we are building a SaaS model on the blockchain where we are charging commission whenever the user will create any token using our tool so you can check this one unisop erc20 launch facebook loan web3 here we have the trading bot liquidity marketplace here we have the exchange solana project so we have tons of project i would suggest you to come and build at least four to five project all of these projects are industry ready, industry ready. So when you will build all of this project, it will clear your understanding that what exactly technology we are utilizing in the front end, in the back end, what are the libraries we are using when it's come to communicating with the blocks. Because sometimes what happens, the company wants you to have a better understanding when it's come to a specific library. If you talk about open zippling, open zippling is such a powerful tool which you can utilize to build any kind of application, including their models, which they have designed. So you can simply check that. So that's all we have included in this NFT marketplace. We have the chat application is going to be one of the complex projects which you can include. We have tons of projects. We have tons of projects. So I want you to simply download the startup file and start following the project. So this is the quick roadmap for all of you guys to master blockchain development. That's all you will find here. So come back to the playlist section. Here you will find all the projects we have built on the channel. So liquidity marketplace, Uniswap, all the things which you will find. So come here and check and start building the project. The more you will build, the better learning you will have. It doesn't matter how many books, how many tutorials you watch. Unless or until you're not going to develop something from your own by following this tutorial, then you're not going to learn. So this is how I have learned personally when I started about blockchain development and the web development because as you all know that I don't, I come from a non-technical background. So this is how I learn and this is the best way to learn. I got phenomenal response on this particular course which I have launched. A lot of students have already enrolled in it. So it's a 40 hour long and that you're going to build one of the biggest project of your Web3 development. You're going to master a solid programming language. You're going to master about the basic environment setup, all the popular libraries which we use in the web development, in Web3 development. That's all you will find. So you can check all of that from your end. So I hope this video helps you a lot to understand that what exactly you have to learn 
if you really want to master web3 development in 2024 so this is the roadmap for an absolute beginner so once you start focusing on this important topic it's going to give you the understanding that what exactly happening in web3 space and from there you can build your own own roadmap on top of that because blockchain is such a vast topic there is multiple segments we have in blockchain in the same way in web2 development so there is a lot of opportunity a lot of roles so i hope this video helped you to understand what exactly you have to learn and if you have any question any doubt or any specific requirement do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you on that and try to build project that's the only thing i can highlight at the end of this video that you have to build project the more project you will build the better understanding you will have and try to build an industry relevant project which is already there like nft marketplace decentralized exchange trading board clone of something like decentralized facebook chat application so these are the most utility models project you will find on the blockchain in the web through and in the web 3 space as well so make sure to build project build project so with that i'm into this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.